Okay guys, so today is Friday and we are going to a comedy show in Mercedes Benz Arena and okay, good and we are Good morning everyone so this is weekend and we are going to watch them what I wanted to talk about you is that we should normalize not responding or not expecting to receive an answer immediately when you contact someone especially if it's on the phone and especially if it's a weekend my phone like 85 percent 90 percent is in do not disturb mode i check notifications when i check them because i either work on my phone or do something and i can't be distracted with notifications and those who need something from you either call you or they like it's not that important and yeah my friends call me my family calls me so phone calls should come back if it is something important you can always call and you should be able to write and yeah because it's weekend and people just like contact text random things and expect to like believe everything and do something this is like uh, that's not nice also what needs to be out of trend i thought that it is already texting work emails on saturday we all have these days when we want to work right but this is a decency today when we have notifications everywhere and this is decency schedule email for monday morning don't text at night like if it's nothing super important right this is the other reason why i have my notification from do not disturb almost all the time and the weather is disgusting in berlin like i love this kind of weather it's gloomy raining cold and i'm wearing my h&m kaidu i'm gonna show you as well but my uh but i feel like sick all the time you know my nose is all the time feels like i can't breathe and this is so annoying so we are working on this also yesterday i have uh, resigned for my german classes so on deutsche Welle, the german website i uh, passed uh, my language level so we are gonna do a little bit of a that's why and then we're gonna move to b1 i'm so excited and i'm gonna text my teacher tomorrow we are gonna have lots of lessons this is so brow look how my brows look okay i promised you my hair care routine long time ago but let's do it now because like this i will postpone it for hour so new products in my bathroom are the avery from my favorite swedish blogger kenza and i'm watching her since i was like probably 13 or 14 years old so this is heat protection spray like the smile is amazing the girls like literally like in the last two weeks few times girls stopped me somewhere and they're like what is the smell you know it was windy and the smells and they're like oh my god is this your perfume what what are you wearing so that's the best compliment also we have this texture spray use it less often because like you need curls for that and i'm usually either whitish or or i'm straight so i don't use it that much but this is so nice also i have hair conditioner from ivory smells good makes your hair look very silky so nice so straight also I use this oil for my hair oil is a must like you don't need a lot of it but it's a must for shiny hair right and sometimes I do this before I'm gonna use um, hair do, abdo, right? Uh, but um, the trick with the hair oil, I'm not sure if it's true, but the trick with hair oil is to use this before you do some hot air in it so that you put oil in, you either dry your hair and then the, um, when your hair is warm, uh, all oils comes up and that's how your hair looks silky and nice oh my god i can talk what's wrong i'm so clogged so i'm keeping it simple uh usually in ukraine used to do procedures and i used to do hair treatments and then just um, refreshing hair once few months but this is not the case so I probably should just like go somewhere here downstairs to some salon and just like ask them to cut my things I don't want to even do any makeup today like I just want to go like this yeah I'm, I'm I'm just gonna that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna use this uh all H&M everything stick it's for blush for eyes and for lips I'm gonna do like this that's refreshing a little bit here so guys sorry for this chaotic vlog hope you 
are enjoying it and just for you you know to turn it on to chill like do your things also i have <coughs> oh my god i think i'm really sick because i woke up on friday super sick then i was in bed all day because on friday i went to the ricky gervais show uh, here in berlin mercedes benz arena so i saw that he will be here like months ago and I, like everything was sold out of course but i was checking tickets like regularly and okay show was on friday on wednesday evening they released a few additional rows and i bought a ticket and was so happy i didn't understand all the jokes but like it's me with what i became so boring i know if i will ever get back to my fun self uh yeah but it was so so nice and yeah now i'm in the mood to rewatch his netflix series about uh, his wife being dead and uh yeah that's why like i woke up and i didn't feel good then i took care of myself it was fine but today it's again and this is so annoying you know it's like you know you don't feel sick but i just feel like clogged all the time but anywhere there in my hall i have two boxes two huge boxes one from ikea one from zara home with some christmas decorations as i told you before i'm gonna go full full speed i'm not gonna hold myself but i know because i've been through this i know that if i feel good here i can sit and focus and i won't procrastinate so you know this this will be for years and i need my home to be cozy i need my space to be cozy because i i need this so so uh, look these are the boxes and this is one from my neighbor who just doesn't want to pick his box but this hair mask the best the best hair mask ever it doesn't smell that nice as every <laughs> but super super good really suggested like invest in good hair product conditioner super nice volume infusion so this is the infusion you put uh one to one either with shampoo or with conditioner or with balls i used to do with shampoo now i don't because my hair is so frizzy and just like all over the place with this strange weather so i don't do this but volume infusion super great and i didn't buy shampoo from them because i have this like huge qua thing but yeah it's so nice so everything i share with you here are the products which are really good maracon oil kerastase uh, l'oreal professional what else is there like just uh, mass market masks garnier everything everything these are the best and uh, the smell is just uh, wow 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 <laughs> Sunday so it's currently three o'clock it's super dark here and I'm gonna enjoy light lunch early dinner before I'm gonna go to little birthday party tonight I'm gonna cook some meal with hello fresh provided by hello fresh I order them once a week and it's really been my savior because I order like there are more than one servings like two or three usually so I have this food for whole week basically and I like bring all the uh, groceries everything you need to cook and they provide a recipe so that's been a really huge savior for me sometimes I modify the recipes how I'm gonna do today because I'm gonna do some warm kartoffel salad with mozzarella baby spinach moon kürbis kernel and uh, yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken and then a little bit more veggies because I need to use them, but not veggies, but salad things. And yeah, so they've been a really huge, huge saver. And honestly, if you are a corporate girly, recommend you to save yourself some time and order them. Though, I started uh, my lesson, so I'm gonna renew all my knowledge of Deutsch, which I used to have and it was a good one, you know, so I'm super happy. And I'm watching right now uh, Ham de Jules, like Home for Christmas, and uh, these are series which I saw for the first time four or five years ago, nice in Norway. It was like late November, you know, it was drawn, so it was super dark there, and they just released them. It was like super nice. Since then, it's only two seasons. I don't think there will be a third one, so I'd be happy to watch it. So I watch them uh, pretty much every week. And uh, what else? Also, I've been sick this week and I watched lots of 90s movies. It's like really white for me now. I really like it. And I watched um, three movies with Meg Ryan. 
uh, sleepless in Seattle. You got mail and her Harry met Sally. Oh my god, I really love the vibe, you know, how she dresses that. Then I remember that when I was a kid, my mom used to have lots of these big magazines with like this nice clothes with these uh, blazers with uh, big shoulders with padded shoulders and um, yeah like all these clothes and like that's when it hit me that that's how i love to dress like i always loved blazers like my school had uniform and i used to wear blazers all the time and why i tell this these movies really are christmasy because i'm not in the mood for home alone yet or harry potter but i wanted something holiday-ish and i can't really watch this new movies from hallmark they really just like i'm like what and why you know and yeah also like when i watch these 90s movies and like france for example i'm like so jealous they they don't have phones you know yeah it's not nice to say like you know but honestly like the you know, social media not phones um, like, I like it because I'm addicted to it and I can't regulate it, you know? And I don't even know how, how it's done. I just take my phone and then I like scroll and I'm like, why? Um, why do I do this? So I'm like, I have you, I know a few people who actually bought just the button phones and that's what I use now. And honestly, like I really feel it. Like now and while I'm young and while I want to build a career, do things because now like your social media, it's your, it's your CV, right? It's your like who you are, you need to have it. But honestly, like uh, I just wonder like in 20, in 10, 20 years, like will I still be on social media? Because I just want to live somewhere, you know? And uh, yeah, whatever, <laughs> like 30 months, but I want to do things, you know, when I go talk and like use my brain and phone, the small screen really makes me like so, it makes me feel like I have claustrophobia, it makes me feel super pressured, you know, so I really would like to... So, you know, like when you watch Friends, when they just like hang, watch movies, read books, like... It really was a happy time. I remember uh, last year when I was in Ukraine and we had no electricity because of Russian bombings. I just read and chill and it's so nice and, I, and it sucks that today you need to put efforts into it, you know? So I really love this um, free time before and it sounds silly because I work in tech, but maybe because I work in tech, that's why I want this. Also, like, that's why I social media job is, like, not for me, you know? I'm even posting this now, but, like, it takes so much of my energy to be all the time on my phone. Uh, like, I would like to spend as little time on my phone as possible. Even when I text with someone on Instagram or what, I try to, like, log in from my brother because just, like, being on the phone is really super, super, like, energy-consuming for me. I remember just, like, these scenes from France when they, like, just film. I know, I know that this is a movie, but, like, when they just film and, like, Rachel just, like, hangs there in the chair and, like, does nothing. And, like, this do nothing, it's so important for our brain. It's so... If you want to open some kind of crea creative... If you have a creative block, it's, like, you just need to do nothing. Because it's like so important, you know? But we rarely do this. So now, like, I practice like once a day, just lying there and like chilling and um, like do, do nothing, just like lie and that's it, you know? Like, and think. And maybe I should mix it all here. That's what I do. But it's so important. Like, I don't know, when was the last time you really like did nothing? When do you think was the last time for you? Like when you just like sat and was bored. And this is super hard task, but it's so rewarding and so nice. Far away from the camera here. Look what we have, looks nice. And honestly, like if you look at these movies, now they film maybe right for like teenagers. Now the American movies, they film everyone sitting on their phone. But in the movies, you don't see people like, oh, sitting on their phone all the time. And this is like so nice. Also, like if you watch a movie, if I watch a movie, there needs to be only one screen. No one screen with the movie. To have phone on the other side, it's like so bad. 
Like our brains are not used to, to this kind of all the time to have information and like do. They're used to be bored. They're not used to the, so much information and like just doing things all the time, browsing. So yeah, I'm so passionate about it because I'm not good at it, but I'm trying and I really like encourage you to think, to try 10 minutes per day, just do nothing. Just like sit and do nothing. Like no music, nothing, you just sit. Let's have dinner with my star. Like now this is my favorite part of the day when I just can come here and put the star on and just chill. But yeah, what I wanted to tell that I really now would like to use less of Instagram and TikTok and just like share my things and really like look for an inspiration, but in a smart, not every day. I don't think you should do this every day, honestly. Two, three times a week, maybe even once a week. So I'm doing my own nails very quickly. And I'm on my way to the birthday party. Doing my nails is one thing, well not one, but one of the few things I'm doing alone when I started to live abroad. Like in Sweden before and now in um, Berlin. Because I like the one Ukrainian which I had, I lost her contact. And um, the others are Russians. They don't deal with Russians, they don't exist. Also about like this kind of events abroad, it's super interesting like when they tell you to come at 7, do you need to come at 7 or do you need to come like 8 or like what, you know? So yeah, this is the color of the season, right? I'm all dressed up and I just hope that it will dry soon enough. Also, I was just looking at some Instagram stories, one of my favorite Swedish no, girls who posted picture of like, I think her birthday, no, her boyfriend's birthday. And she showed that her boyfriend's like favorite in his iPhone folder are like there's some food or hair pictures and like this is honestly the goal girls. Find yourself a guy who will put your pictures in folder favorite. This is so strange. I d haven't done this since like with, you know, because at least if you use like a light color, it's like easy to clean it, right? But darker, I haven't used like since school probably. I think I did my nails like maybe not since university, but since like a few years I did my nails. If I could afford it, I did my nails. The salon. It's better to do it yourself. Honestly, I went once for in Sweden and the wo and woman there was, oh, where are you from? Oh, from Ukraine. I heard that uh, Ukrainian masters do nails like so great, so good. And like, and that we don't, you know. And then she did me a many, like I would do at home, you know. I'm like, why you, why did you need to tell me this? That's what I thought, of course, I didn't say this, but yeah. Like, then she want to build on expectations or what? Well, I kind of expected it. Also, it's so nice because now I see like abroad, Ukrainian girls, like women who moved because of war, doing nails and when famous like girls tag them, it's like warms my heart. They are like, oh, best many in town. And then they tag someone and it's like, Ukrainian Nastya. It's so nice, you know, like that support Ukrainian girls. Cause all those who, people who post about, oh, Russian manicure, no, no, like what, like stop romanticizing it. Like, they are terrorists. Why do you do this? That's not how the world works today. Don't romanticize terrorist. Port it. Yeah, but somehow this uh, thing looks so good. Okay. Plus, I'm gonna take a bottle of the Spanish cava. I should put it before I did my nails. Like this. I do know that these back were designed to carry a champagne there. In that. So yeah. Go. I think my hair still looks questionable with this hair pot. But no, it's freezing outside and I can do nothing now. So yeah, let's go. Weihnacht, die legalen Lichter geschenken, sicher eines der schönsten Fest im Jahr.
Good morning, everyone. So it's a new day. I need to run some errands, do some Christmas shopping, and this look of the day. Yeah, I'm super happy with this. This jacket is from H&M, and it's super warm. Super, super warm. So we're gonna go to Goodam, return pajama pants, buy some Christmas ribbons, red velvet ribbons, and then we'll go home. I need to deal with some bureaucracy stuff, and then yeah. Today I woke up to the snow in my outside, and it's so nice. Though the one thing I can think of is uh, guys on the front line who are uh, in disaster conditions under the snow and wind, and I just pray every day for... Yeah, so let's... I'm super happy to go out and enjoy some nice snow and some sunshine, and I hope you're having a good day as well. Nice to walk outside with the crispy snow, like fresh air, so so nice. girls community in Berlin and I'm just gonna do work I'm gonna uh, publish on LinkedIn my article about I created article about things which helped me to just think differently to think outside of the box and just things which can create new connections in my brain and I really hope that it will be helpful for people, not only for PMs, but for everyone who wants to have some kind of like career and growth and development, right? I'm gonna share this today. And yeah, I have lots of things to do, uh, like lots of things to do, but mostly like thinking blank. I mean, a little bit like hiring it and settling down mode, but I also a good thing that, yeah. So uh, that's it, and then work, and then I need to go and buy some food. I haven't like, I haven't nothing to eat my fridge is empty what i have there are some uh, jalapeno peppers and uh, i don't even have cheese i used to have at least like some cheese to snack i have nothing that i have water gin beer wine <laughs> that's it and i don't even like drink mostly like i just bought gin because i had a very hard weeks and i needed something to like a little bit chill off and like don't judge me don't get drunk alone uh, but um yeah sometimes you just need a little bit of because uh, my friends were visiting me the other week and so we had i was prepared that's why i have something still in my brain but yeah also yesterday i ordered christmas um decorations i'm gonna go full blow off some steam this year really and i'm super inspired by my experience in sweden so i ordered lots of candles stars and i'm gonna buy christmas tree so I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna create cozy atmosphere though for Christmas going to Ukraine, but still like for a month, I'm gonna do this. And then hopefully in two weeks, in a week, I'm gonna have a next week, next week I'm gonna buy a Christmas tree. So I, I'm ready, I need this. I need this for my soul and yeah. <laughs> Are you horse? 